Am I the only one who gets really overwhelmed when it comes to all these beauty and cosmetic treatments? Not only do we have skincare, but there's fractional laser, hydrofacials, dermabrasion, microneedling, pool sculpting, facials, dermal fillers, and the list goes on and on and on. Doesn't it make you look back to an earlier time? To a time where life was simple before the 10,000 step beauty routines and gadgets. Women in those days just seemed naturally put together and just effortless. Whatever happened to that? Hey guys, I'm Dr. K and in recent times, I've found myself going back to basics with my beauty routine. And I've been looking at beauty tips from my grandma and mom's era. I will admit that while some stuff like putting lead on your face is dangerous, do not try this at home people, some of the stuff that we regard as being old fashioned and ancient does actually have some health benefits. So I've gone back in time and dug up 10 old school beauty tips and advice that is actually worth following. I will say that it was difficult for me to just narrow it down to 10 tips. So I've added in a bonus beauty tip at the end of this video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end so you don't miss it. Let's get into these tips. Number one, don't wear cheap shoes. Your feet will never forgive you. Many people find themselves spending lots of money on designer clothes, the latest handbags, nails, spending thousands on wigs and installs, but then you go and buy cheap shoes from Primark. I'm looking at you here. Your feet need good support. Think about it. They take all your body weight and you need to treat them with care and attention. Wearing good footwear is not only good for your feet, but for your overall posture and it even reduces back pain. It is much easier and cheaper to prevent bunions than having to go through painful and costly surgery to correct them. Tip number two, always include your neck and decolletage in skincare. This is very important. Your skin doesn't just stop at your jawline, so make sure to take it further down. Use the same skincare creams and ointments, but just apply it to your neck and upper chest. Nothing is worse than seeing someone with a baby face and then the neck and upper chest is dry and crazy. Point three, over-consuming alcohol and smoking will age you quickly. Need I say more? We've been knowing this for the longest time, really. Alcohol and cigarettes are essentially toxins to your body and they're not good for your skin. And do I even have to mention the worst thing that will age you the most? Cancer? Yeah, none of us want any of that. Number four, drink green tea instead of coffee. I've got a confession. Even though I put this in the list, I'm personally not a fan of green tea. To me, it just tastes like meh. And this is an example of do as I say, not as I do. I'm not perfect, I will admit it. The issue here is more to do with the effects of too much caffeine, which is the active chemical in tea and coffee. Caffeine is a stimulant and we drink it because it helps us to stay awake and maintain concentration. But too much of it can overstimulate your heart, causing things like heart palpitations, and it can also stimulate your bladder, causing you to wee a lot. So if you're having more than four cups of tea, coffee in a day, it's worth cutting it out and swapping it for water or non-caffeinated or herbal teas or green tea. Number five, if you wear clothes that are too loose, they will eventually fit. Okay, I came across this one and I found it a bit controversial. In a way, I sort of see the point of what it's trying to say. I guess I do use my clothes and how they fit as a way of gauging whether or not I've put on a few extra pounds or if I need to step up my exercise and go back to the gym. I guess it's about avoiding that complacency that comes with age and the slow middle age spread that happens to us all. But I do think that everyone deserves to feel good whatever their size and people shouldn't focus too much on the number on the tag. What do you think about this one? Hmm. Number six, sleep on your back to prevent wrinkles. I wish I could do this. I am a lifelong side sleeper. I think it's just the way that the arch of my spine is set up. I just can't sleep on my back. 
But there is a reason for suggesting this idea. And it's thought that sleeping persistently on one side is thought to increase the formation of wrinkles on that side. So I guess if you're a side sleeper like me, rotate sides, so you kind of spread it evenly, I guess. Number seven, hair does best when it's left alone. I'm sure I'm going to upset a few of you watching this, especially when there are channels devoted to all these complicated treatments and whatever you need to do to grow long hair. But what you need to realize is that the rate at which your hair grows is genetically predetermined and you can't change that. However, you can minimize breakage so that whatever hair that does grow stays on your head as long as possible. So what can you do? You need to minimize rough handling, aggressive manipulation, and hairstyles that use excessive chemicals and heat. That's how you go about it. When I was younger, I would find that my hair grew when I had my hair in a weave or some sort of protective hairstyle. And I used to think it was that style that caused my hair to grow. The reality is that it was not doing harsh, damaging stuff and actually having a hands-off approach that gave my hair breathing room to actually grow. Number eight, wear support garments. Your clothes will look much better on you. This is another thing that I know to be true, but I don't personally follow. At least not most days. Just because I like being free and I don't like being constricted. However, the right undergarment can really streamline your look and make whatever you're wearing look like a million dollars. Number nine, walk to your destination whenever possible. A lot of people wonder how some people are just naturally thin and seem to drop the pounds so easily. The answer is that there is no secret, but it's down to daily habits and what they eat. Not only may it be because they eat less calories, but they tend to be more physically active. Before you start getting ahead of yourself, you don't need to pay for a privacy gym membership in order to lose weight. Another way to turbocharge your weight loss plans is to just generally incorporate more physical movement into your day. So taking the stairs rather than the lift, parking further away from the store, or going for a walk during your lunch hour. Even just adding a 10 minute walk has benefits. And these benefits can really add up, especially when you're in a weight loss plateau or you wanna trim without bulking up or investing in a pricey gym membership. It's not just good for you physically, but mentally too. Number 10, when cleansing your face, don't scrub too vigorously. Although your skin is tough and it's one of your body's best defenses against outside toxins, it's actually pretty thin only about two millimeter in thickness. So handle with care. Use lukewarm water, not hot water, and select products with care, avoiding those harsh scrubs. Your skin is good to you, so be good to your skin. So for those of you that made it to the end, this is the bonus tip. Your teeth are just as important as your skin, so good oral hygiene is a must. I can't believe that I'm having to say this in this age, if you're watching this and you've not seen your dentist in well over a year, what are you doing? Get on the phone and schedule your next appointment. Pronto! Good teeth is not just a cosmetic thing, but it helps to maintain the length of your face as well as the structure of your jawbone. Losing teeth and having dental issues can cause asymmetry in the face, giving this sunken, hollow appearance. I've often been complimented on my white teeth, I've always just followed this tip from my mom, which I'm going to share with you today. It's cheap, it's a quick and easy tip without having to pay up for pricey teeth whitening treatments. The trick is hydrogen peroxide, which you can buy cheaply over the counter from most pharmacies. Hydrogen peroxide has many uses, but in low concentrations, you can use it as a mouthwash it kills bacteria, it prevents odor, and it keeps your teeth looking white. All you have to do is just dilute with water as it says in the instructions, and over time of doing this every day, you will see your teeth naturally whiten. So I was wondering, what tips have you had that was passed down in your family? Drop some wisdom and share it with us below. 
If you made it this far, I'd love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for other similar content. Big, massive thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.